So whether or not it's true, what, I, what I've taken from this recent encounter with this distribution company is that they tried to replace me in the end. And I think you can take this in one of two ways. Firstly, you can do nothing about it and feel sorry and be upset, or you can do something. And what I wanna do is, I don't know, my first feeling is if somebody tries to replace me, well, I should probably make myself irreplaceable. So before I go about making myself irreplaceable, there's one thing that I haven't done yet. One thing that I should do before moving forward. I haven't told Carson about the distribution company yet. And not that I'm worried, I just, he was so excited last time when I told him about it. And I don't know, I'm just, it feels weird to burst his bubble, I guess. When the moon runs down the summer sky, could it be the morning of the spring? So Carson and I met, Michelle was there as well, and we had a wonderful chat. Um, and then obviously the conversation did turn to the film, the feature film. And I realized something in talking about it. In talking about it, I realized that this was not a negative thing. And I wasn't thinking that Carson was going to be upset, I just didn't want to let him down. But talking about it again, it wasn't a negative thing. In fact, I realize now more than ever, I'm more confident with this film. I know what I want, and I'm not going to compromise on story, not gonna compromise on a lot of things just because uh, the company doesn't have enough money or anything like that. I want this to be the film that I wanna make, and there's no exceptions to that. After Carson, Michelle, and I had lunch, we all went to the football, had some fun, and Carson and I planned for the next adventure, which we'll tell you about a little later on. So now that I feel like the whole distribution company thing, well at least this first one, is behind me now, what do I focus on? Well, now it's time to make myself irreplaceable. Reaction from him. So he's like doing it like he's done it before. Yes. You know, like, this is oh, this no seems way. familiar. So whatever shots we do, you you keep them the same. Alessandro Fasali from Yippie Boy Films is going to be documenting the event right here in front of me. And it'll take you by surprise when your friends start having babies. you realise people die well before they get to 80. So we'll spend the time wondering about the things they don't teach you in school. Joke? No. Get out! Shannon. Get out! I don't want to hear it! Shannon. Okay, stop. Remember how I said earlier in the episode that Carson and I were planning more adventures and I would tell you later on? Well, we are currently in Istanbul in Turkey and we're going to climb a mountain which is going to take us five days to climb. I know, crazy. <laughs> Now, this whole idea of me becoming irreplaceable, I've realized that it's not measurable. It's not, you know, you can't measure success or measure your irreplaceability, I guess. What I'm, what I'm trying to do is just build more work so that I do have a, a name, but the script itself is not perfect. I want to be 100% happy with it. Maybe I could make the script irreplaceable and still work on my own stuff and then, you know, just make this brilliant all round. I don't know. So it's now been eight months since I last looked at the script. And for quite a while, I've been wanting to do it, been wanting to get back into it. And it's on this adventure where I'm with Carsten climbing a mountain in Turkey. 
where I realise that now is the perfect time to start. And I had this feeling before I left, so I printed out a copy, the latest draft, and um, yeah, I don't think there's anywhere better to start doing it. Start looking through it and making the script 100%. I want these, I want to make the characters more interesting, I want to make them people that we love and want to spend time with, and remind us of our family members, you know, I think that's the big point of, of this next pass, is to look at the characters and make sure that they're just real humans and then entertaining at the same time, you know, people that we want to spend time with. But the next step after the script, after that's done, is finding a producer. Yeah, how do I even make those connections? That's the question I'm always asking myself. And to make those connections, I know that I need to be bigger. I know that I need to... I know that I need to get into the room somehow. And I think when I'm this small, when I haven't made anything before, people do need to come to me. They need to go, oh, that's an idea that I want. So I'm still in Bali, in fact. Um, we've only got two more days of filming this Heart of Bali series. And, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm feeling like, I'm feeling silly. I, I just feel like this whole time I have been procrastinating on other projects that are easier to do than the feature film in the guise of trying to be irreplaceable because I don't think I can do this. I, I doubt my abilities as a writer, I doubt my abilities as a producer, I doubt my abilities as a filmmaker, a director. You know, this project makes me doubt myself. It's time to dig deep. <laughs> I'm going to end this vlog here because I no longer want to keep going with this idea of I need to be irreplaceable to make this film. And I realise it's okay. Like, I'm just taking my time and I'm going to push through and I'm going to go back to the script. Because once that's 100%, then I'll work out the next process. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing now. Once I get back home... <laughs> That's it, feature film time.